Hey guys, what's up? This is Ziploc Rules 2013, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can play your old Nintendo Wii games online with other players in the year 2022 through the WiiMFi Custom Servers, uh, eight years after the original Nintendo Wi-Fi Connection servers officially shut down. And uh, for this method, you do not need any sort of modifications done to your console. No homebrew or soft mods are required. And uh, I'm actually redoing this. I did this beforehand uh, a few years back, like 2019 when it first came out. And, you know, the methods have changed and uh, the video is just overly long and unnecessary, you know. Um, so I'm redoing it. And all you're going to need, I'm just put my disc in the console. We're going to use Mario Kart as our example game. But you just need any Wii or Wii U console. No Wii Mini, unfortunately. The Wii Mini is not compatible with the internet whatsoever. So it won't work for that. But any mainline Nintendo game that's supported, Nintendo WFC will work. So Mario Kart, Smash Bros, uh, anything like that. This won't work for the forecast channel or like the news channel. Check me out channel. These use Wii Connect 24, which has been replaced by ReConnect 24, which I might make a video on later. But other stuff like Netflix doesn't work anymore. Um, and, well, not Photo Channel, but stuff like the Internet Channel. That actually still is officially supported, oddly enough. Runs on the Opera servers. But we're just going to jump into this. So go to the Wii settings. And you're just going to need a basic internet connection for this. And you're going to need to modify just a few, just change a few settings. So go to internet. And this is my cousin's old Wii. So I don't know that it was ever... Oh no, it was connected to the internet at one point. I uh, kind of figured it wouldn't have been because they live in a pretty rural area in the middle of nowhere. But they had this console when they were kids. And my uncle gave it to me. I guess he just didn't want it lying around the house. I don't really need it, but it's the perfect example console for this, so um, I'm using it, and we're going to use a wired connection, so just, you can do this on any Wii if you just bought one from Goodwill, or Savers, or a thrift shop, or a garage sale, or something, no, don't clear your settings, change the settings, and um, this is where the important stuff comes in, so just scroll past this security crap you don't care about. And go to the auto obtain DNS. Select no. Go to advanced settings. And uh, you're going to replace your primary DNS with 95.217.77.151. Uh, and you're going to enter that exactly as that. And then your secondary DNS, I don't know if this is actually required, but you're going to put in 8.8. Point eight point eight. So four times, no decimal on the end, just leave it. And I think that goes to Google or something, so I'm not sure if it's actually necessary or not, but put it in anyway. It doesn't really make much of a difference either way. And go ahead and test your connection again, and it should come up as successful. If it doesn't, then review what you put in, make sure it was correct. Uh, I mean, go back to the Wii menu before you do that. You know, it'll help reset things or something like that. So it was successful. So um, obviously, select no. You don't want to do a Wii system update. If you're not on the latest firmware, I don't know that it really matters that much, but whatever. We'll assume it doesn't. If it does, then since your console is not modified, you can safely update it. So we're going to go back to the Wii options now that everything's had time to configure itself from going back to the Wii menu. Go back in. You don't want to click Wii Connect 24, but what you want to go to is Internet and then User Agreements, and it's going to ask you if you would like to use the Wii Shop channel and Wii Connect 24. Both of those are discontinued, but we're going to say yes anyway. So uh, just go through here. Yeah, a little drink of water. And it's going to present itself as though it's some sort of official Nintendo document. It would usually give you the user agreements and you would either agree or disagree, accept or don't accept. But instead, you're going to get this little spreadsheet from the WiiMFi team. So the server was, of course, created by WiiM and Lassaret. Um, 
And this patcher in particular was made by Mr. Bean 35,000 BR, Lacerette, and Chatters. And as it says, do not press any buttons whatsoever. Don't even click any buttons on your controller. Nothing. It will crash the console and the exploit will stop. The exploit will seize. It's being currently um, worked right now. So just leave it. Gently put your Wiimote down. And uh, I did mention this will work on a Wii U. Uh, you're going to do the same thing. Put in the same numbers for the uh, DNS. But instead of the Wii menu, you're going to go through the Wii U menu through the system settings. And uh, you're going to need a gamepad for that, which kind of sucks. They never patched that out, so you still need a gamepad. But I tested it the other day on my secondary Wii U that I now have. And it worked flawlessly. And so <clears throat> I think it's really just cool that this method exists at all. That you can play these games all these years later. Mario Kart Wii... It's 14 years old now this year. Hard to believe, I know, but uh, you can still play it online. So uh, you just want to sit here. It should take a minute or two. Okay, here you go. I would still um, leave the Wii mode alone, but now the game is being patched, and since we had the disc in already, this will go a little faster. And um, yeah, so uh, this is the perfect example console. So my cousins, they live you know, super rural area, middle of nowhere in the Finger Lakes. So, you know, they didn't have internet till fairly, like, eight or nine years ago, I think. And so they had no chance to modify the console. Not that they really probably would have cared to, but um, this is the perfect example console. You don't need to do any modifications to it whatsoever. It will work on one that is clean from the factory, never even been messed with. So here's the game, and oh, here's my cousin's profiles. Oh boy. Oh no, I guess my one of them went online. I won't name them. I know who that is, but whatever. So they, they've shown me their me's. I know who they are. But, uh, so we're just going to go for... Um, we're just going to create a license here. You can't, uh, we'll just pick any of these Miis. You can't use any license that's been registered with Nintendo WFC, unfortunately. So, um, my other cousin here, his won't work. It'll give me an error code if I try and go on with his license. But uh, I won't with this new one because it's clean. It's never been registered. So we're going to register it right now. And uh, unlike back in the day, you know, 2015 when I first started using WiiMFi, there was no ghost server. So all the ghosts you had on your console had nowhere to upload. So it would try to upload them each time. And the connection would take forever, each and every time. And it was super annoying. But that's been worked out. There is a ghost server now. So um, it goes a lot faster. And I'd say in some cases as quick as it did back in the day oh my god yeah it works almost in instantly um you can still register friends and um i'll actually um do i have my i had it written down no, i'll put this in for now um i don't know if it'll actually recognize this or not it's seven or no it's seven five six nine or, no, 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 it's 8, yeah, 8014, 7569. This is my old Nintendo Wi-Fi connection friend code, so I don't know if it'll recognize this or not, but um, I tried to register this back in the day, and it wouldn't let me, and you can't do that anymore uh, with WiiMFi. Oh, wait, no, here it is. No, no, let me add this. I'm actually, I've uh, actually returned to this game. Uh, lately. Uh, well, not lately. I actually haven't streamed in, like, five months. I haven't streamed since January, I don't think, so. I am coming back, though, probably this weekend, so I'm gonna register this. And this is actually my current, uh, Mario Kart Wii friend code. So, if I enter again. Yeah, here we go. Add that if you want to play with me on live stream. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitch at ZiplockRules2013, Twitch TV. Now, I'm going to quickly show you that this actually also works with some of the Mario Kart Channel elements, too. 
Now, if you have homebrew, you can play the tournaments again. Uh, those don't work without homebrew, but you can actually uh, download ghosts, which is really cool. And so, if you just connect here, it'll actually allow you to do a ghost race. I won't actually do a ghost race. I'll actually just head online and play a real race, but it does work, which is really cool. I used to love doing these back in the day. So it'll download a ghost, um, usually just some random, some random Joe, you know, random guy's ghost, and, um, I think, or no, I think on the other license, my cousin had something downloaded, so, like I said, you can't use, um, the old friend codes with, uh, WeMFi, it'll give you an error code, and you can't really do anything, but, um, I think he had some sort of ghost downloaded. I checked earlier. I think he did. Uh, those will still work because they're downloaded to the console. So, yeah, some random Japanese player's ghost here. But uh, what we're really worried about is playing online with other people. So that's what we're going to show now. I'm going to go back to this license I just created. <laughs> that friend code actually looks kind of like one of my old ones from, like, 2015 when I first started using William Fi. I had a friend code just like that. Don't add the one that's on this license. I'm never going to use it, but I'll demonstrate that it works. I'll play a race or two. Uh, worldwide works. Regional works, but it's pretty much dead these days. Battle mode, also pretty much dead. Uh, I think there's a Skype chat that I'm in or a Discord server you can go to um, to arrange, you know, battles and whatnot, but uh, it doesn't really see too much use. But uh, worldwide uh, versus mode does work, and it's by far the most popular. There's also CTGP that you can play. I just realized this is set to 4x3 still. It must have been a long time since they uh, used this thing. So, <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. And we get people from all over the world. No New Yorkers, unfortunately. Uh, or New Yorkers. Sorry, I gotta sound like I'm from the Bronx and can't speak English correctly. No New Yorkers to play with. Ah, stupid. But uh, the game does work. Pretty well, actually. I would say maybe even better than it did back in the day. Just because, you know, we have better internet now. And we have pretty dang good internet uh, in my place. We get uh, Spectrum. You know, that's kind of the internet to have in Rochester. So we get like 450 down and like s usually like 25 up, sometimes 50 megabits up uh, per second up. So really good internet. Back in the day, when, you know, the original servers were around, you know, we had probably two megabits down and like quarter to half a megabit per second up. So the game would lag like crazy. And that was actually pretty good for that time. I remember my friends always flipping out that they could actually play online at my place. But it was just awful back in the day. But what we have now is so much better. So the game honestly probably works better it definitely has lag problems um you know it always did uh even compared to like mario kart ds which worked a lot better uh back in the day and it still does now and you can play ds games with the servers too but the the um what do you call it the process you go through is slightly different uh but it'll work and i'll probably show it off at some point too but um, <clears throat> here we are in Mario Kart Wii, and it is just like it was back in the day, you know. People still play. Uh, it's a lot more competitive, I'd say, these days. You know, it's uh, the average player uh, in the uh, Wii and Fi age is a lot better than the average Nintendo WFC player, you know. So, you know, it, it definitely skill gaps are a big thing, but... There's a big online scene for this game, and you can still play stuff like Smash Bros. Uh, I've actually never played Brawl online, though, so I can't really tell you how that plays. I never even played it back in the day online. 
but uh, it does work now. And uh, I'm excited to come back to it, so I'm probably going to stream this coming weekend this game and maybe Mario Kart 8 as well because the DLC is now out. So maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll just play this game for a while. I don't know. So we'll figure that out. But hey, I'm just glad that this is still played all these years later. And now you don't even need to modify your console. So I think that's really cool. And the game is honestly surprisingly close to its original state, you know. The tournaments still work. They're still hosted. Uh, there's a couple of custom ones that people made, but I don't think they really use those anymore or make new ones anymore, so... You'll probably just see the old, you know, the old school ones that Nintendo made. I think there's like two or three of the new ones that were made, but, you know, it just never really took off. But it's cool that they're there, you know. So, and with CGGP, you can play over 200 different courses. Oh my god, I'm doing bad this race. Um, but yeah, so I think it's really cool what's happened with the scene of this game and how far it's expanded, really, in the eight years since shutdown. I'd argue there's a lot of newcomers still coming to this game. And uh, I would say, yeah, it's worth it if you're nostalgic for these games to uh, come back and at least just once in a while play it. Re-experience it, you know. It's just such a great game to come back and play and pretty sure this is the most popular Mario Kart game out there, so plenty of people still have this game. Or maybe you're going out and you bought a Wii from someone's garage sale or house sale, like I got mine back in the day, and you want to play these games, you know, and you never got to experience it back in the day, that's cool too, you know, you can do that. And I think it's just really cool that you can do that. And, um... I don't see it going anywhere anytime soon, but, uh, you know, it's a big time. It's a lot more competitive, like I said, than it was back in the day. You know, you're not going to blaze your way up to 9,999 VR like you would have back in 2010 or something like that, back when it was way simpler. Trust me, I know. I've not even gotten close. I think the highest I've gotten was, like, 8,500 VR or some crap like that. So, I am not the... Oh, jeez, okay. Yeah. I think I'm okay at the game, but... There's definitely a big uh, learning curve to this game and definitely a big skill gap. So, I would say definitely come back to the game if you've ever thought about it, because it's, it's fun, you know. It's nostalgic. Oh, no. Not... This isn't nostalgic. <laughs> Oh no, god damn it. I don't like this. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, no, I need something. I need something from back here. Oh jeez. Okay, well, pff. <laughs> it's nostalgic besides that. Besides the stupid god dang thundercloud. Oh, thank god they've never brought that back. Ate it out. Well, I was nostalgic, now I just blow this game totally. God dang it. Oh well. It happens, you know. But uh, I definitely would love to see more people come back. And I figured now would be a good time to post this because I'm actually going to be streaming it again. And I figured, you know, if you guys are just getting Wii's, and I know a lot of people that watch me, a lot of you guys love the Wii, so... You know, you probably have a copy of Mario Kart lying around. I think this game sold half what the actual console itself sold, so... It's a 50% chance you own the game. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, I'll play one more race. But yeah, so I figured I would just shorten this up. And there's an entire website you can look at. And what's really cool is that unlike years past when there was a big problem with people cheating and you know people just ruining races 
And, um, you know, you could just basically load up codes through Revolution and just be a douchebag, essentially. Just be a jerk. But, uh, and I won't say I'm, won't say I know firsthand, but whatever, you know. You, you get the point. Uh, excuse me. They put a lot more measures in place to where you can't just do that. You know, you can only access the server a certain number of ways, and they have a ways of detecting codes and preventing you from getting into lobbies. So, I think it's pretty cool that they're able to control that now. And, um, you don't have a big problem with cheaters like you did back in the day. Especially back uh, in the Nintendo WFC days. Um, and, uh, basically they put in place initially a seven day wait to where you'd have to wait an entire week to be able to access the server. And, uh, they did that shortly after I, uh, first played on here. So that was annoying to a lot of newcomers, but that's no longer a thing. So you can just sign on your first time as though it's, you know, back in 2009 when there was no seven day wait. You just registered your console and off you went. So it's basically like that now and I think that's pretty cool. But uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, not get, I hit up on the D-pad, god damn it. That should have dodged, that should have dodged. <laughs> oh well. Get the hell out of here, freaking Birdo. Trying to screw me over. Just look at everyone come after me. <laughs> everyone, they already know it's me. They know I've returned to the game, so they just want to make my life a living hell. Definitely what's going on. But, uh, come on, I hate this item. Screw the Thundercloud. Uh, screw it into next week. But, uh, yeah, so I might do a tutorial like this for the DS uh, end of things. Uh, very much like the Wii, Mario Kart DS is by far the most played game uh, for the DS on Wii M5. Just like Mario Kart, by far the most played on the Wii's end. Holy shoot. Look at you. Hey, at least you're using land, at least. <laughs> Someone who isn't using terrible Wi-Fi for their game. Ah, oh, no, no. I didn't mean to use that. Oh, no. Oh, this race is a train wreck. Oh, this is a disaster show. God damn it, no. Oh, no. What is going on? Can I have one decent race? Apparently not. Apparently not. Oh, my God. I have no idea what I'm doing with this game anymore. Whatever. If you start playing, just don't do any of that, you know? At least beat Waluigi, maybe. Nope. No, I didn't. Absolutely did not. Oh, no. Nope. Actually, somehow I did. Alright, I guess I lagged him, because I'm a bitch. I'm a bitch. But, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and end this off, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And, uh, yeah, I hope you look forward to more things on this channel to come. Peace.